Hello everyone, welcome to a new video where I'll show you how to kill the Night Phantom, which spawns in Night Goblin strongholds found in the Dark Forest. Alright, I'll switch to survival mode. Actually, I'll go back to creative mode since I don't have any arrows. First, as you can see, we have different knights. I recommend wearing good armor and carrying a shield if possible. These enemies hit hard, they really pack a punch. You'll be shocked by how much damage they do. I'm going to take advantage and switch back to creative mode. They'll follow a pattern. Occasionally a larger one will spawn. That's the one we should target and hit. Once we hit it, we gain some time and they become a bit less dangerous. After this, they'll have an ability to throw tools at us. Let's see if they do it. Always try to keep your distance because as I said, they deal a lot of damage. Look, there it is. When this happens, when this guy spawns, we need to go straight for him if we can. As you can see, that's where they've launched their attacks and everything. Always try to avoid direct contact with them and approach from the sides. See how I'm not going straight into the center? Why? Because they'll destroy me. They'll surround me. That's what happens if you go straight to the center. What you need to do is go around the sides and take them out one by one. As you can see, the boss's health is dropping and I'm doing pretty well. I haven't picked up anything else to regenerate apart from that. So there it is. When this guy appears, I go straight for him without dying thanks and for those remaining stay calm at the end the less health this boss has the easier it gets just finish him off as you see my hits don't do much damage since he's not transformed i need the transformation but i can still beat him there he appears now we just try to land some hits there he is don't let him shield i know it looks easy and you'll say i've eaten enchanted apples that's true you're absolutely right but it's a boss you can face quite calm you can even run away to heal if needed there's no problem with that just take it easy this boss isn't in a hurry. He hits hard, but he's slow to attack and move. He doesn't have many attacks either. His only special attack throws tools, and it didn't even hit me. It hasn't hit me yet. It's a pretty chill boss. Not harmless, but quite manageable. Just find its pattern and you're set. I'll use zombie heads to show the boss pattern. They line up, and instead of going to the center, where all four attack, you should go to one side and start attacking this one here. Suddenly, the main boss appears. The one with the special head. Go for that one, it's the real threat. Take them out one by one and boom, boss, fight over. You'll get this chest with phantom hermit, chest plate and night metal tools. No other phantom armor exists, just so you know. By the way, this guy doesn't have legs. That's all there is to it. As you kill them, you'll get chests with similar loot. That's it, hope you enjoyed. See you in future videos. Ciao, ciao.